Hello again, brothers and sisters in Christ. It's still Sunday, May 30th. It's 8.14 p.m. And I've got some recalls I've got to share with you because it could affect you. So I want to be sure to report them. This first one is by a publication called Top Class Actions by... Uh, I'm sorry, it's Top Class Actions, Helping Right Consumer Wrongs. Okay, the title is Recall Check, Dodge Ram, Kroger, and Weight Loss Coffee Drink. And when I first read that, this is so silly, I was like, what in the world do a Dodge Ram, a Kroger, and weight loss coffee drink have to do with each other? How could this possibly be a recall? And then it hit me. It's They're talking about three things in one article. It has to be. I have not read this yet. I don't usually do read the recalls first. I just record them and share them with you in case you've got this product. Consumers, here, hold on a second, please. I need a drink of water. All right. Sky's pretty again tonight. Consumers heading into the weekend should take a moment to check out these recalls Affecting Dodge Ram Owners, Kroger Chicken Taco Kits, and a Weight Loss Coffee Drink. Okay, the first one they cover is the Dodge Ram Trucks Recalled Over Wheels. Kind of important item on the truck, wouldn't you say? Fiat Chrysler is re... I didn't know Fiat. Fiat Chrysler owned Dodge products is recalling more than half a million Dodge Ram trucks over concerns that the wheels may fall off. Oh, for heaven's sakes. More than 500,000 model year 2012 through 2021 Dodge Ram 3500 heavy duty pickups and 4500 and 5500 cab chassis vehicles. 4,500 and 5,500, that's model numbers. Cab, chassis, chassis, I'm sure that's how you say it. Vehicles have been recalled over a potential problem with the wheels. The automaker says that some of the vehicles came with service and owner's manuals with incorrect torque specifications for tightening the lug nuts. The wheels in Dodge Rams with improperly tightened lug nuts could come loose and even fall off, warns Fiat Chrysler. Owners and leases can bring their Dodge Ram to an authorized dealer for a free inspection and repair. Well, I don't know what kind of repair would be necessary if the wheels haven't fallen off yet, but you need a new, your book marked exactly how the right torque. That is inexcusable. All right, moving on to Kroger. Kroger Chicken Street Taco Kits recalled for undeclared egg. Kroger Chicken Street Taco Kits sold in multiple states may contain eggs. A 
according to a Food and Drug Administration recall notice. This makes me so mad because they're so worried you might get a rash because you eat a taco kit and they can be sued over it. But guess what else contains eggs? Just take a guess. And not only chicken parts. <sighs> Cows, pigs, horses, birds, and now a bird flu is coming. You see, people who have part bird, part chicken, unless the bird is the chicken, I'm not sure, but part cow, part pig, part horse, then these influenzas that only these animals get, and the owners could not get them previously. Okay, let me move on. Egg may be present in the chipotle cream sauce. That's what it's called. Chipotle cream sauce. That came with the taco kit. However, egg is not included on the product's label. Presenting a severe risk to those who are allergic to the ingredient. Yes, yeah, something like anaphylactic shock and death. The Chicken Street Taco Kits were sold from Kroger Deli cases starting May 22nd, 2021. The kits with the incorrect labels have since been pulled, but Kroger warns that consumers with an egg allergy should either toss the tacos or bring them back to the store for a full refund. On to the next product. So does that help you? If you have Chicken Street taco kits with a Chipotle crema sauce that's in it sold since May 22nd and you haven't eaten it yet I would throw it out anyway You'd probably have lettuce in it Anyway, take it back to the store and get your money back. Moving on. And they can be sued if somebody dies or gets terrible, even has to go to the hospital for an epinephrine shot or something. They can be sued for all the costs and, and emotional trauma and what, uh, whatever they can get out of it. All right, weight loss coffee drink contains unapproved drug. The FDA has also issued a recall notice for a coffee product advertised as a supplement for weight loss. Imperia Elita Vitacino, well, that's the uh, name of it. The agency warns that the product contains unapproved appetite suppressant drugs, cybutram, cybutramine, and fluoxetine that have been linked to heart failure and strokes as well as severe depression. Oh my goodness! Cybutramine was an FDA-approved drug used as an appetite suppressant for weight loss, but was withdrawn from the market because of safety issues, including stroke, 
heart failure and serious health risks, especially to those with underlying heart-related disease, states the weight loss coffee drink recall notice. Fluoxetine is an FDA-approved drug indicated for the treatment of various depressive disorders, obsessive-compulsive disorder, bulimia, and panic disorders, continues the warning. This drug product carries a box warning for suicidal thoughts and behaviors, and it needs to be monitored closely by a prescriber. What are these people thinking? Making a diet product with prescription drugs, one of which was taken off the market? I mean, it's got to have been done in Mexico, right? It sounds, or maybe overseas, but Imperia Elita Vita Chino was sold on eBay by Dash Exclusive. The, the weight loss coffee drink comes in a box with 15 packets of the coffee drink. The product has been pulled from eBay and Dash Exclusive is contacting consumers for a return of the recalled coffee drink. Top Class Actions monitors product recalls in the interest of consumer safety. Oh, I'm sure that's why. Check back often to see if something you purchased has been recalled. Are you affected by the Dodge Ram Kroger Taco Kit or weight loss coffee recalls? Tell us about it in the comment section below. Sure, they want to take your case. Still. Having said that, make sure you do not have these products in your home and return them for your money back. All right. Boy, now I look like I'm in the dark and I have lights on all around me. I guess I need one in front of me. I don't have, I don't have that light on. I don't have anything overhead in this particular studio. Anyway, it's all right. I'll just lean in. <laughs> you all have a blessed night or blessed day whenever you happen to see this. And um, I pray you don't even have to worry about any of these recalls. But if you do, you get them taken care of now. We care about your safety. All right. God bless you all. Talk to you later.